Number 48. Find the resistance that must be placed in series with a, a 10 ohm galvanometer having a 100 microamp sensitivity to allow it to be used as a voltmeter with a letter A, 300 volt full scale reading. All right. So we talked about this, I forgot, number like 42, 43, 44. So this is simply going to be equal, uh, This we're going to use Ohm's law, that the total current here flowing through the circuit must equal then the total voltage, divided then by the total resistance. Now that total resistance is the same thing as the equivalent resistance. And these two resistances are connected in series to one another. So in other words, what I can do now down here is I can get rid of this, and I can just write then the resistance of the galvanometer plus this unknown resistance that I'm trying to solve for. And right, we know that equivalent resistances in series are added up, right? We have the formula over here, and we've done now 17 problems that have worked with that. So all we now need to do is simply solve this for R1. So we can do just a little bit of algebra here, right? Cross multiply these two, just do a little swap -a And then all we need to do is simply now subtract out that R sub G, for, right, from both sides, R sub G. And there is our formula now. Look at how beautiful that is, right? Right? And now, just simply, let's plug it on in. So R1 will equal then the total voltage, and they told us it's going to, the full scale rating is 300 volts, divided by then that, uh, the uh, the current, right, that they gave us, that's going to be 100 uh, milliamps, so be careful, you need that in amps, so it's 100 times 10 to the minus 6th, minus then the resistance of that galvanometer, which was 10, and voila. Let's calculate. So there's going to be 300 divided by 100 times 10 to the minus 6th, minus then 10, and we get an answer it's so close to 3.00, right, that we're going to have to round considering, say, fig. So it's 3.00 times 10 to the minus, so what do we got? It should be, should be so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, just double checking, 6. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, good. And that is in ohms. If you need that in mega ohms, obviously it's 3 mega ohms. But that's all it would be, all right? And now for letter B, it's asking for a 0.3. Right, voltage full scale reading. So the only thing that's going to change is instead of this being here, it's now going to be 0 0.3. Just redo the calculation. So it's 0.3 divided by 100 times 10 to the minus 6 minus then 10. And we get a value of about 2.99 now. So 2.99. So this would be 2.99 times 10 to the third, right? Ohms, that'd be about, you know, 2.99 uh, kilo ohms. So that's that. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helped. If it did, help us out. Hit that subscribe button, like button, and maybe even tell your classmates. We appreciate it so much. Take care.